In one of the first naval battles of World War II for the U.S. and her allies, we witnessed the heroic actions of two warships facing impossible odds. Welcome to Warmaster Gaming. This is Bill, and in this episode, I'll be playing War on the Sea. Today's mission is the Battle of Sunda Strait. The Battle of Sunda Strait was one of the first naval battles for the U.S. after Pearl Harbor. In this mission, we play the USS Houston, led by Captain Albert Rooks, and the HMAS Perth, with Captain Hector Waller in command. The Japanese were preparing to invade Java. On February 27, 1942, the, the American, British, Dutch, Australian naval force intercepted the Japanese fleet in what was called the Battle of the Java Sea. All Allied ships were sunk or retreated. Among the ships that retreated were the HMAS Perth and USS Houston, who retreated to the nearby Java port of Tenjung Priok. On the 28th, they were ordered to depart Tenjung Priok and head to the Sunda Strait to Tilat Jap, which is on the southern coast of Java. Just after 2200, they happened upon a significant Japanese force of one light carrier, one seaplane carrier, five cruisers, 12 destroyers, one mine layer, and 58 troop ships. In the battle that ensued, both ships were sunk with 696 sailors from the USS Houston and 375 from the HMAS Perth, including both captains. These survivors were picked up by the Japanese and taken prisoner. If you'd like to learn more about the Battle of Sunda Strait, check out the links in the description. For me, this was a significant battle because both captains heroically faced an impossible battle without retreating. In this mission, we will be controlling the HMAS Perth and the USS Houston as the battle begins. Given what we know about the historic battle, this mission is doomed from the start, but we can try to see how many enemy ships we can sink before we meet our end. Alright, so without any further ado, let's uh, go ahead and start our mission here and see if we can uh, do as well as Captain Waller and Captain Rooks did in the Battle of the Sunda Strait. So let's start. Here we are with the USS Houston. We've already got an enemy here. So let's go ahead and Start navigating towards that guy. Let's go flank speed. Send the Perth. Same direction. Perth is already at flank, so that's good. Get these guys. Now let's change this. Uh, actually, we'll leave it where it's at. And now we're finding more ships on the horizon. So the Japanese have been practicing and practicing and practicing doing night battles. So they are very well trained in this. Okay, we're gonna navigate this way. Let's do a hard turn. Break and navigate this way. Full flank, let's see if we can sink this guy. So we know we know that both of these guys are gonna sink, so let's see if we can do some damage to at least a couple ships. We're just two cruisers against a uh, entire Japanese flotilla, so our chances are not good. Our two cruisers against uh, 12 destroyers and 5 cruisers at night. This is the, one of the first battles of the war. We did not. We did not try to train or practice for night battles at all. We'd always wait for morning. So this is new territory for the, for the U.S. Our damage control going. Good. See how our Japanese friends doing here. A little smoke coming. 
Not too bad. Looks like these guys are starting to head towards us. So this is just a scout that we're... Maybe a little scout destroyer. Uh, that we kind of ran into by accident. Here in uh, Bantam Bay. Let's change his course a little bit, so we'll break. And break this guy, kind of change here. Kind of doing some zigzagging there. Oh, looks like that was a good hit. Alright. shot there. He's smoking pretty heavily now. Oh yeah, good hit. Come on, get sunk. Oh, that sound means more. Oh yeah. Okay, well that's uh that's a big guy. It's probably a heavy cruiser. That's definitely a heavy cruiser. I don't actually know. <laughs> yeah, those are some pretty big... They got some pretty big guns heading for us now. guys doing still smoking slowing down a little bit looks like so do I leave the Perth to attack this guy since it looks like he's doing all right and use our bigger ship the Houston he's a uh, heavy cruiser you kind of go for these other big guys Nah, I say we work as a team. Let's not split them up. Okay, still cruising along here, going, going full speed. These guys again, still firing on us. They got us on distance. They can. Definitely do a lot more distance. This guy's still smoking. Come on. Oh, a couple of good hits. He's on fire now. That's good. That is good. distance to this guy. A thousand yards. We will send him to attack that guy. We'll leave the perk on this one to finish her off. Okay. And now the Houston is on fire. Damage control teams are on the job. Perth is still doing good. Alright, that guy has stopped. They're gonna sink. So let's let's get her.
That ship is sunk. Okay, we got one of them. Okay, so now start targeting this guy. <laughs> I don't even know if our shells can do anything good there. Let's go hard left rudder. Ships try to go around this wreck here. Oh, we are not a rudder of midships. There we go. Let's go right on past that guy. Getting some good hits, but I'm pretty sure their armor is going to be way more than what our guns can do. Two, right? Okay. And our Houston is not doing so well. Got critical damage, so probably just gonna be a matter of time before this guy's is that it? Perth just got hit pretty bad. Heavy damage. Still not critical yet. Oh, we are... We are listing pretty bad. <laughs> Let's try counter flooding. Can't straighten her out a bit. And the Perth has sunk. That's it for her. Our right, Houston. Boldly into battle. Control the rudder, and there goes the Houston. So, well, we took out one of their ships, so I'm calling that a win. I imagine we may have been able to do better, but really, the odds are stacked against us from the very beginning, as it was for our brave captains of the uh, HMAS Perth. USS Houston, Captains Waller and Rooks. So this was the first battle of, uh, first sea battle of World War II where we had our first contact with the Japanese Navy. One thing we did get to see in this episode was the, uh, their use of the uh, Model 93 torpedo, uh, long lances. Uh, they had way outperformed our torpedoes at the time and were a major factor in this battle. And I believe uh, the Battle of the Java Sea so thanks for watching hope you liked it if you like the uh the kind of historical lesson in the very beginning uh, let me know i can do some more videos like that i really get interested in the history so let me know down in the comments below or if you didn't like it let me know uh, but be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you again in the next video